have the perfect character in a standing position, but you need to have them in that same seated position, maybe you need them in a wheelchair or you need them in an office chair, well, it can be frustrating, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to take that standing pose and manipulate it into a seated position without any illustration skills. Let's do it. You can grab the free link to these files in the show notes to follow along. But if I were in the eLearning Art Library, I'd go to the Disability Collection to download a character in a wheelchair, and then I'd go to our Youth Collection and find the kid that I want, and then select the pose that I'm looking for. I like this pose, so I'll download it as an SVG. So we've got both of the characters on the slide in PowerPoint here, and what we're going to do is grab the wheelchair from this image, and then we are going to make this girl be sitting on the wheelchair. So these are both SVG images, and we're going to need, you know, why don't we go ahead and open up the selection pane? So arrange selection pane, and now we'll be able to see the different elements, right? Um, and this is going to be very helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and cop, do control click. So it's both of them, and I'm going to control D to duplicate these. And this is what I'm going to work on here. So let's go ahead and start. Um, right here, and let's just get the wheelchair as a separate element. So I'm going to unlock unlock the power of the SVG and right click and go group, ungroup, and then say yes. And now it's all the different shapes that make up these elements. They are still grouped together at this level, which is actually helpful. I'm going to click onto her. I'm going to click delete. And now I have the wheelchair as a single uh, group. It's made up of a bunch of shapes. So I'm going to close that so we can see. And what's going to be helpful, actually, let me move this here, and I am going to use the lock button, and now I can't click and move that, um, which is great, because now I can do the editing of the girl right on top of there. So I think she's looking a little too big for this wheelchair. I'm going to make her a little bit smaller first. Um, so I'm just trying to line up like her waist with the back there. That looks pretty good. Um, her legs, because we're in perspective versus standing up, we're going to do a little bit of tweaking to make that work. But let's go ahead and ungroup her. So I'll do this time the shortcut, Control Shift G, ungroups, and I'll do yes. And you'll see what's interesting here. Right now, if I were to rotate this, the clothing and the skin is together. If I ungrouped it one more time, so Control Shift G again. Um, now they're the separate elements, and I go to rotate it, and things start getting a little bit wonky. So I'm going to control Z to get back um, to that original one where I can rotate it. There we go. Um, and that's going to make it much easier to work with. So I'm going to keep it at that grouping level instead of being ungrouped. So let's start by doing the rotations of the body. Well, you know, let's actually let me grab all of her here. And we'll group her, and I'm going to kind of move her back on the wheelchair like that. I think that's going to be easier to work with. So now I'm going to take this, maybe rotate it a little bit more, like so, and then slide it back a bit. I think it needs to be angled down a little bit more. So um, you know, we'll do a little bit of tweaking. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get access to this. And uh, no, we'll leave the arm. That's fine. OK, so let's grab this element. We'll slide that back here. Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm going to grab, I'm going to do each foot and leg grouped together. So I'm going to control, I'm going to click and then I'm going to control click and then I'm going to control G to group that or I could right click and then do group, pull that out of the way and I'll do the same thing click and then control click and this time I'll do the shortcut control G and now I have the two legs. So we can just see how this is going to look and you'll see. Well, gosh, her legs are kind of real far off here. Well, the interesting thing is we're we're dealing with perspective, so her legs actually should be a little bit bigger. So let's I'm going to group these together. Um, let me just grab them both. Control G, and let's I'm going to hold Shift to lock the perspective or the ratio and make her legs a little bit bigger. And let's see how that's coming together. I think that's going to look pretty good. So I'm feeling like this should be maybe more like that. And now I'm going to control shift G to ungroup, or if I wanted to ungroup here, I can go group ungroup. And now I've got my two leg elements. So I'm going to drop that leg there. And I'm going to drop this leg there. And I kind of want that to be down. And then I guess we'll point her down a little bit, like so, and drag that over there. I think that's looking pretty good. Now her hand, I probably want to get that out of there. So let's 
control shift G to ungroup these elements that I did. Let's get this hand. Maybe the hand's going to be on the other side of the wheelchair. So let me right click and send to back, which is interesting because it could be like she's kind of wheeling herself or something. Um, and now we need this arm element and we'll use the handles to spin it. And then we're going to do the upper arm. I'm just kind of try to connect it a little bit maybe like so and then connect this and then I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to just bring it in a little bit okay so let's go ahead and unlock that wheelchair again so we're going to scroll down here's our locked um, I should have just renamed that wheelchair I'll just go ahead and do that right now. So we'll delete that part. I'm going to unlock it. And now we're ready to take it to the next step. Now that we're done editing the image, I'm going to want to select everything that we've done. So drag the mouse. And then I can Control G or I can right click Group. And now it's all grouped as one single grouping. From there, I can right click and I can go save as picture. And then I'm going to be able to save it as either a PNG or an SVG. To build your e learning graphics skills, sign up for my free mini course and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.